Hi, my name is Nicole Dobbins and I'm an RBT at Brett Denovian Associates. For the purpose of this video, I will be speaking about the characters in the Guardians of the Galaxy from the MCU and why their selected behavior contributes to their function. Let's get started. Today's topic is a continuation of our pop culture ABA series and will cover F6 of Section 2 in the BACB 5th edition test list, Common Functions of Problem Behavior. In this video, we will be touching upon pop culture and hypothesized functions. When we speak of functions of behavior, we are talking about access to a tangible, escape from a demand, automatic, and attention. All behavior can be traced back to one of these functions and there are multiple tools we can use in the field of ABA to assess which behavior falls under what function. To determine function, we can perform a descriptive analysis in which we observe the future likelihood of behaviors occurring given certain antecedent and consequent conditions in the natural environment or we can perform a functional or experimental analysis in which we manipulate variables in given conditions to see if we can turn on and off the behavior in certain contexts. First up, we have Star-Lord, leader of the Guardians, aka Peter Quill. Peter is a charismatic and adventurous space outlaw from Earth with big dreams and an even bigger mouth. As a child, he was abducted by a group of space pirates known as the Ravagers and raised by them, eventually becoming their leader. Peter grew up learning how to fight, steal, dance, pilot Starcrafts, and of course shoot off his sarcastic sense of humor when he can. Peter self-proclaimed himself Star-Lord and made a living of stealing and trading valuable goods to the highest bidder. Peter's eyes prior to joining the Guardians of the Galaxy were always set on the next and biggest prize. Peter has a love for valuable items, but one in particular is a walk band he always carries with him at all times. This is in memory of his time on Earth and his mother. Despite his wise cracks and giant ego, Peter has a soft spot for his friends and will do anything to protect them. He has put his life on the line defending the galaxy more than once, and I'm sure it won't be the last for him. Let's say the hypothesized function for Peter Quill are attention and access to tangible. Next up, we have Rocket Raccoon. Rocket is a genetically modified raccoon who also happens to be an expert marksman and a skilled tactician. Did I mention he's a raccoon? He was created in a lab where he was given enhanced intelligence and the ability to communicate with very colorful language. With a name like Rocket, you'd assume he might not be the calmest in the group. You'd be right. Rocket is often hot-headed and easily prone to violence, but he also has a deep sense of loyalty to his bond with his loved ones. Rocket has a love for shiny weapons, big ships, and explosives. Rocket has an innate ability to understand all types of weaponry and has a knack for getting his hands on all kinds of items, no matter the consequence. As much as he loves his friends, he has a softer spot for a shiny new toy. We will hypothesize Rocket Raccoon's function as access to tangible. Lastly, we have the daughter of the Mad Titan, Gamora. Gamora is a highly skilled assassin and the adopted daughter of the intergalactic warlord Thanos. She was trained from a young age to be a deadly weapon under her father's orders. Gamora became a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, a feared warrior, and was known as one of the most dangerous women in the galaxy. Despite living under her father's influence for most of her life, Gamora has a strong sense of morality. She breaks free from her father's control and wants to undo so much of what has been taught. Gamora lives with fear for what her father and other evil rulers will do to the galaxy and her friends if they are not there to stop them. Gamora fights alongside her new family in the Guardians of the Galaxy in hopes that no more harm comes to her loved ones and that she can finally be free from her father's shadow. We will hypothesize Gamora's function of behavior as escape. If you disagree with any of the functions or would like to add to them, please leave a comment on the video. Please keep an eye out for more pop culture related content and if you'd like to see something specific, just drop that in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us keep disseminating the science.